Okay, we got our first trade we're about to do. We're looking at the US dollar, Japanese yen, greater than 99.60 by 3 a.m. Right now the price is at 422 is at the top. I would do a put here. We're going to trade a couple contracts. We're going to go 28. We're just going to go at the bid here and place our order. And we're going to try to get out maybe around 10 but our goal is right now we have a count bounce of 500 because we're waiting for the other 500 to settle so 500 times 0 0.034 17 so do 17 divided by 2 let's sell this right now first before anything alright we're going to sell at 2750 so Do 27.5 minus 17, 10. Plus, let's see, actually 17 divided by 2 because we did two contracts. 8. So our entry was 27.5 minus 8. So 19.5 is where we want to get to. No. Hold on here. 27. Five hundred minus. I mean times point zero three four. No. Zero, three, four, seventeen dollars of profit. That's all we want. So, twenty seventeen. So, we'll buy it at seventeen point five. So we go in here, and you buy two at seventeen point five, and then you get the difference. You want to make sure you do the right thing here, so we're not selling it, we're buying it. And we'll get the difference between that and that, and that'll be our net profit. Now if it gets really far down here out of the money, we'll, we may just cancel that buy order and let it expire, and we'll make a total of about over $50 profit, which is like over 10% of what my account balance was so that'd be great um, I'll be back I'm gonna try to just keep this paused and I'll just update you on how it goes let's do a little trade update the price just f I bought I sold the 99.6 right around here well what happened if you sell and the price goes like this against you that's not a good thing but at this top we sold four more contracts at 5250. Now the price is around between 44 and 53. If if I can get it if it goes down to 35 again, which it could because it was at 27 about now 50 minutes ago. I have 6 to sell at 35. That would give me a net profit. I would lose 27.5 minus 35 times 2, so that's like $17 ish. I would lose that, but I would gain the 52 minus 35, which is about 60. So if you or 70, if you net everything together, I'll be at around a 45 to 50 dollar profit and be out. And all I need is this. Basically, I just need this to keep coming on down here. And if it gets, if it gets, comes back to our R3 pivot, which it should do, um, or even lower, because the best, the good thing about selling is in selling allows the contract to devalue even if the price doesn't go up or down if it just stays so we'll just let this decay another seven dollars or so if it goes down and uh, we'll be good to go so I'll bring you back on any next major updates and right now the price is back on my side below 99.60 so that's a good thing alright this is good we have drops. It is selling right off of there. We needed to get down to our R3 pivot. And 
well, we're only 450 away on the bid side of it from our price, but it needs to come down probably to 32 or 33 for us to actually get this price. Um, but all we need is a little bit more drop in here. Just the end needs to fall through all these support levels, and we'll be good to go. So here we go. All right, guys, we did get a. All right, guys, we got a breakthrough. It broke through this bottom, and now it's going to probably start a new range, hopefully heading down to this 99.46 level. But we're $4 from the bid from our price. Um, so let's just see how see if this continues down in this new range here. We got still about <laughs> six hours until the expiry, so there's plenty of time for anything to happen. All right, we're getting our fill here. As the price comes down a little bit more, it's trying to fill our six contracts at 35 here. We just need a little bit more drop on the end. It, it comes down around this area, we'll be filled and uh, we'll be profitable here. Now, at one point, we were, you know, $100 loss. At this point, we're trying to get a fill and. You see our average price was 44.17 sell. We're trying to buy it at 35. And oh, it's dropping. It is coming down here. Let's just wait. We may get a fill any time now. All right, I'm actually going to modify my order up a dollar cuz I want to fill bad. So I'm going to go up 36 because it's worth it. I want to get good momentum. We'll go 36. Oh, it's coming. I don't know if we are going to have to. It. Oh, we aren't. Let's just let it fill there. Come on now. All right. What are we going to do? I'm afraid it's going to pop up, so let's try and uh, let's get to our working orders. Working orders. We'll go up 36. Yeah, it's popped too late. Well, we just got to wait here for. Just wait a little bit longer. Okay, we are going to do a modification here. We're going up a dollar. We're going up to 36. Cuz I want to get I just want to get some momentum. I want to get profitable on my first trade. Um and I want to I want it to just get the momentum going early. All right, we're going to get our fill here any second. This is I mean we're just about split between the bid and the ask and it's dropping farther down here we're gonna get a fill we got to come on now I wanna see this account bounce up here be about 530 something now dang it look at that drop that drop that bar should get us into the money here oh yeah keep going down there Let's see here. Just waiting on the fill. Come on. It's got to go. I mean, come on. I'll pause the video. I'll, I'll see you when we fill. It should be soon. All right. We got our fill there and it dropped. Oh my goodness. Wow, look at the yen just drop. If I would have just waited another 10 minutes there, I would have filled at 29.50 and I just could have got another $30 of profit. Regardless of any of that, we screwed up the whole position, but look at we ended up making $38.20 profit after fees with only $500 balance. I'll take that every day. Cause that's like a seven or eight. What is that? 
let's see, 38.2 divided by 500. It's a 7.64 percent profit return on balance, and wow, that just dropped right down to the R3. Man, if I would have just hung on for a little bit longer, I could have got about double my profit. But no problem. We got our profit. Now it's time to leave the markets, and we'll be back in the morning to try to make some more. This is SmartHelping.com, trading binary options.